back here with rigid inspections. Today I'm going to go over a new combustible gas leak detector from TopTest. So if a lot of you who have been with the channel, at least for the past year, you saw my review of the TopTest PT210, which is this one here, uh, the smaller one. And I'll put have a clip in here on this one, kind of comparing it to that General Tools one. Oh, I've got the Top Test uh, combustible gas detector here set right up next to the General Tools one, and I'm gonna put them both in low sensitivity since this is just gonna be pumping out a pretty decent amount of gas. Um, and then we're gonna gonna just turn the gas on real quick, hopefully without igniting, and see how. Each of them picks it up. Okay, so the top test actually reacted first and we're still not seeing anything from the general tools, but um, it ended up being a really good gas detector. Um, this one did the PT210 for $26.99. It beat out the $200 general tools one. <clears throat> well, Top Test reached back out to me. They got a new one here. They've listened to feedback. Um, and if you remember, the biggest complaint of this one was its ability to reach because you're only limited to how long your arm is. It doesn't have a sniffer like that extends and bends like the General Tools one did. Well, the one that they sent me here, the PT520B Plus, it does have the extendable stiffer and we will open this here and take a look at it. It comes with a nice hard shell, uh, I guess semi hard shell case. Um, so here's what you get. You get a little manual, user manual, um, a charge cord because this is rechargeable. It does not take batteries. It's got a USB charge port here as you can see. So it is rechargeable. Um, but the cool thing about this one is this sniffer, um, because if this is anything like the PT210 in terms of its ability to detect gas quicker, its ability to calibrate quicker, then it's definitely going to put General Tools gas leak detector out of business. Um, so this one here, this is their top tier detector, top of the line for top tests, and it's $79.99 on Amazon. And I will leave a link in the description for this particular one, but we're just gonna kind of go over and review it right now. The downfall of the last one was its reachability. Um, so now this one has the reach. It's got the extendable arm here. So let's turn it on and see what we got. So first thing I noticed right off the bat is a beautiful screen. Um, looks like LED screen. It's got all different colors. It's got a countdown. So it's telling you how long it's gonna take before it's calibrated, which is awesome. It was 30 seconds. So that's already quicker than the general tools because I think the general tools was almost two minutes it took to calibrate. So 30 seconds were calibrated. It's got a nice little meter here that's gonna give you a read on the gas, um, how high and low the level is. Sensitivity, it's got high, and you click this, it goes to low. You can mute it. It's got uh, Celsius, Fahrenheit. This is cool here. Okay, so it's got, you, it measures in percentage level of combustible gas. And then it gives you a parts per million readout as well. So I don't think either of the other ones did that. I know the General Tools did not give a parts per million. It just has a little gauge on whether there's a leak or not. So I'm gonna turn the other top tests on just to double check, but I don't think it gave you a readout on parts per million. So that's awesome. So yeah, this does not have a parts per million readout. It's just high or low sensitivity. And then it's got a little meter there, which um, it's backlit, which is nice, but still for $26.99, that PT210 is a good deal there if you guys want to get something that's on the cheaper side, but heck, spend 
50 more bucks. You get this nice readout, gives you the parts per million. I like the con how compact it is. This cord actually bends a lot better than the uh, General Tools one. You could not bend the General Tools one that much. So that's our that's a plus right there. It's got a good reach, just to get an idea. Yeah, so about 17 inches is the uh, sniffer. Um, that's awesome. So that'll give you good reachability. It bends real nice. Let's look and see. I'm just gonna go through the manual here and see what kind of features it has because I didn't know they had this. They just reached out to me, sent me this, and I was like, heck yeah, they got one that's got a long sniffer now for reach. So the, uh, I think the PT-210 was about 35 seconds, and then the General Tools was 45 seconds longer than that. So that 30 second calibration time is awesome, especially if you're on a time crunch and you don't want to sit around for two minutes waiting for it to calibrate. Some of the common combustible gases it detects is methane, propane, butane, hydrogen, ethanol, a saline, and natural gas. It's got a battery charge indicator showing you how much battery you have. Four digit readout. So the uh, low sensitivity mode is anything 700 parts per million or higher. And the high sensitivity mode is anything 50 parts per million or higher. I'm gonna set it up here, angle it up like that, try to give you guys a good view of this without the glare, hopefully. There we go. I'm just gonna grab, I've got a propane torch here. I'm just gonna grab it. There it goes. All right, so they're both calibrated and they're on. I'm gonna take this uh, propane tank here. I'm just gonna turn it on. The uh, PT520B Plus actually got it slightly quicker, maybe like a second quicker than the PT210, but they're still both spot on. And if you remember in the other video I did, the PT210 caught the gas way faster than the uh, general tools. All right, so there goes the top test already. All right, and there goes the general tools, so. And these are both on high sensitivity right now, so. The nice thing about this, though, is that it's given a parts per million readout. It's on percent right now, but you can see how, how high that is. I'll just kind of hold them both up so you can see where they're at. But they seem to be working pretty much the same. Um, this one, the PT520B is a little bit better um, or quicker, just slightly. So if I had to choose between the two, I think I'd almost get both of them. Um, I'd get the 210 just because it's compactness. I could just fit it in my pocket and if I need it for whatever. Um, this one, it, it's able to reach better, calibrates quicker, and it gives you like a readout. So if you need for some reason to list the parts per million of the combustible gas that's coming out or if you need to know that for whatever reason uh, this gives you a digital readout of what that is which is a lot better um, in terms of having to document something um, rather than just saying yeah it had a leak you could say well how bad of a leak was it um, so definitely uh, i really do like these two this isn't you know i wasn't paid to do this they literally just sent these to me for free um, and I, they're just so much better than the general tools. Um, 
even this $26 one was a lot better than the general tools, but I'm probably gonna end up putting this 520B in my work bag um, and using it just cause it's not, it's not really that much bigger. I mean, it's a little bit wider and it's got the sniffer, but this sniffer literally coils up to a little ball and it's not gonna take up much space. So, um, and having that digital readout is kind of nice. So um, I'll link both of these in, in the description, but that's kind of my review on these. Um, I don't really have any complaints on this one because this one already beat out the general tools. So I didn't even really have to bring that one into this video. And this one beat the this one out. So the, the 520B beat out the PT210, uh, but just barely. I mean, really the only differences we're looking at here is just the length of the sniffer and then the ability to read parts per million. Otherwise, uh, this is pretty much the same detector. I mean, this one calibrates five seconds slower, but uh, and it picks up the gas a second slower. Um, but other than that, I mean, both really good detectors. So hopefully this kind of helps you guys. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thanks again to Top Test for sending me these. Uh, definitely gonna preach about these uh, because their affordability is way better than most other combustible gas detectors out there and the quality is uh, good and the price point even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran to the no man i still go go go